So today I'm going to be sharing my top five favorite skin tints for mature skin. I have tested out a lot of skin tints in the last year and I finally whittled it down to the top five. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. Hey guys, it's Kat and welcome to my channel. This video has taken me forever to put together, but I think I've whittled it down to the top five skin tints for mature skin. So in case you're new here, I do have normal to dry skin. I am 56 years old. I have texture, I have pores, fine lines, redness. For mature skin, I like a good skin tint. Tinted moisturizer, tinted hydrators, call it what you will. It's something lighter than foundation. Some of the claims that skin tints have is hydrating, blurring, evening of the skin. And I have tested so many skin tints over the last year, it was tough tough to whittle it down and make sure you stay till the end to find out what I'm wearing on my face right now. I think you're going to be shocked. I've put these skin tints through the ringer. I didn't just test them once or twice. I've tested them multiple times, wrote down notes. I know I'm such a nerd. I wrote down the notes, how they performed on my skin, how they look in natural daylight. And I'll be showing you what all these skin tints look like on a daily basis. But yeah, make sure you stay till the end to find out what skin tint is my absolute number one. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, how you doing? It's been a zoo here. I've been trying to sit down and film, but it's been a zoo. The animals, my kitties are like wanting to get in on the action. So if you see a stray kitty, not a stray kitty, but one of my kitties in the background, it is what it is. So, oh, there's one right there. These are like in no particular order. They are and they're not. But the first one I want to start out with is from Laura Mercier. It is her Tinted Moisturizer Natural Skin Perfector Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Now, I remember testing this out at the beginning of the summer and I was so impressed with it. And I think this is the only one that I'm featuring today that has an SPF of 30. Now, you know, you should wear your SPF on a daily basis to protect your skin against anti-aging. But this one with the SPF, is a bonus. Now I'm in the shade sand and I think it was a beautiful shade for me when I got back from the beach, but this is the mini size. This retails for $29 and it comes in 10 shades. Now at first I thought that was a a good deal for Laura Mercier. Then I realized it was the mini size. I love when makeup companies do offer mini and travel sizes. It's a more economical way to test out a foundation without being committed to the full price. I don't even know what the full price is, but I'm sure it's way more than $29. This is a tinted moisturizer. However, out of all the skin tints and tinted moisturizers, it's the most foundation-like. Now I'm gonna show you the texture of it. It comes out in a squeezy tube. It really is more of a foundation, in my opinion, than a tinted moisturizer. And for me, the best skin tint or tinted moisturizer, my definition, my idea, the sweet, sweet spot of the perfect skin tint is something that's not greasy. And when I've been testing out all these skin tints, a lot of them tend to run greasy and really oily. But as you can see, the Laura Mercier is very foundation-like. And this is a tinted moisturizer. It's very hydrating, offers SPF of 30. It offers the most coverage out of all the skin tints. But sometimes we want something a little more skin-like. That To me, that is the epitome of a great skin tint, is something that is skin-like, lightweight, comfortable. You want it to blur your complexion. You want to even out the texture on your complexion. But to me, out of all of these in my top five, this is the one that is almost foundation-like. I think it's beautiful on the skin, so if you're looking for for a little bit more coverage and you want a little extra SPF in your skincare, this is very ideal. If you're really interested in this, they do offer it in a travel size, 10 shades, $29. Now, number four is from Hourglass. It is their brand new Veil Hydrating Skin Tint. This is the most pricey one out of the whole bunch. And that's why I kind of ranked it lower. Now, this is $49. It provides sheer coverage and it comes in 18 shades. Now you do get 1.1 fluid ounce, which is a little bit more than your standard typical one ounce. It contains skin loving ingredients like hyaluronic acid. It's supposed to provide all day hydration. It's supposed to even out your skin tone and it's supposed to perfect your skin. Now, if your skin tends to run normal to dry like mine, you would probably love this. This is definitely hydrating. It's definitely plumping, but it's definitely on the pricey side. And to get any sort of coverage, you do have to use more. I noticed 
Tamara at Tamara's Timeless Beauty. She loves this. She applies it straight onto her foundation brush. I tried her method and it worked beautifully. However, I feel like I'm using more of this skin tint. This feels like it's almost halfway done. If you love that no makeup makeup look, you just want your skin to look perfected, you want it to look juicy and plump, I would recommend this. Like I said, it is on the pricier side, but you get beautiful results. This is beautiful on mature skin. So for number three, this one, oh my gosh, this one surprised me. So this is the Iconic London Super Smoother Blurring Skin Tint. It retails for $32 and it comes in 18 shades. You know what, this is fantastic if you want a natural light finish. It's super silky on the skin, it's ultra hydrating and it's supposed to last up to 12 hours. We are at about six hours to Today. I did do a minor touch up, but it's it really is super blurring. I do have to say though, if you're looking for a little bit more coverage, this is not gonna offer it to you, but it is very blurring. I love it if you're looking for that natural look. When I was applying my cream blush, I noticed it was kind of lifting up some of the foundation. That's one of the caveats that I noticed using the skin tint. So you may wanna keep that in mind but I think it's beautiful. It's super blurring, super hydrating. Yeah, it's great for one of those no makeup makeup days, but do I reach for it all the time? Mm, there's other ones that I reach for more often than not, so we'll be getting into those. All right. We're almost to number one. Have you guessed yet what it is? Can you guess what I have on my face right now? My second favorite skin tint really took me by surprise because when I first tested it out, I was like, eh, it's okay, it's all right. But then the more I tested it out, the more I started wearing it using different types of tools, a dampened beauty sponge, my foundation brush, or even my fingertips, I found the best method to apply it to make it look really pretty on the skin. This one, like I said, really snuck up on me. It is from Danessa Myricks. It is her Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. Now, this retails for $36. It comes in 16 shades. It's supposed to provide light coverage, a radiant finish, fragrance free. That's what I love about it. And I'm in the shade five. You guys, we've been having a heat wave here in Tennessee and this one I put through the ringer. It's not as runny as the Iconic London whatsoever. And it really does feel like a serum. It feels so silky and smooth on the skin. What really shocked me about this serum skin tint is that it looks so juicy on the complexion. I wore it for over 12 hours. Earlier this week, a friend of mine came over, you know, I hadn't seen her in a few months and my skin just looked radiant after about 12 hours. I was so shocked. I was like, oh yeah, this, this one's gotta go top five, almost to the top but it is just beautiful. It's hydrating, it's plumping, it's juicy. To me, I think it provides more light to medium coverage. You can build it up without being cakey. I find using a dampened beauty sponge was the best method. Of course, when you apply with a dampened beauty sponge, it does apply less product because most of the product is absorbed in the beauty sponge. So when you use a foundation brush, you're gonna apply, you're gonna be applying more product on the skin. I don't know why a lot of people are not talking more about this beautiful skin tint. It is just lovely on the complexion. It's so smoothing. It looks fantastic at the end of the day. I've really been enjoying the yummy skin. I mean, hello, yummy skin. It does make your skin look yummy. And I think it works really well for mature skin. But yeah, this is definitely my number two. I've been reaching for this quite often. So definitely the Danessa Myricks Beauty Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. Here we are at number one. Have you guessed what my favorite skin tint is? And for my number one favorite skin tint is Drugstore. Yes, are you kidding me? I know, I've spent so much money on all these high-end skin tints, but I'm sorry, the clear winner for me is a Drugstore skin tint, and it is from Maybelline. It is their new Super Stay 24-hour skin tint. We love it when the best one is drugstore and affordable. Now this retails anywhere from $13.99 to $17.99. It comes in 18 shades and it's infused with vitamin C. Now it has been compared to the L'Oreal True Match Nude Serum. Absolutely gorgeous. It's still one of my all-time favorites. However, this one has 1% hyaluronic acid. So if your skin is on the drier side, then I would recommend this to you because the hyaluronic acid is gonna draw more moisture out of the air and into your complexion. I'm sorry, if I had to pick, I would have to go with the Maybelline Skin Tint. This is just 
so magical on the skin. I don't know what it does. It's so smoothing, it's so blurring, but it also provides really nice light to medium coverage. You can build it up, it doesn't look cakey. Now, I like using it with my all-time favorite go-to primer, the Wet n Wild Prime Focus Primer Serum for refining your pores. The combination of these two, magical. I don't know what sorcery is in these products. Well, yeah, I know it's in here. Bacuchio and vitamin C. But you guys, for the most skin-like skin tint, it's gotta be this one. It's so pretty on the skin. It's hydrating, it's smoothing, it's blurring, and it has amazing longevity. It just really looks natural on the skin. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look like foundation. It literally looks like your skin, but just enhanced, like beautiful, like blurred. When I want my skin to look really, really perfected, I reach for this skin tint. It just perfects my skin. It just looks so smooth and hydrated. It plays great with cream products, powdered products, and it has amazing longevity. But this is, this is, you guys, I'm surprised myself, and I always reach for this over my high-end skin tints. That's how good it is. To me, this is the most skin-like, the most comfortable and lightweight skin tint. You don't feel like you're wearing anything on your complexion. It looks natural, radiant at the same time. It's just, it's just beautiful. This really surprised me. I've spent so much money on these high-end products, but you know what, little Maybelline here, $13.99. But yeah, I'm in the shade 118. I loved it so much when I first tested it out. I bought the wrong shade. The first shade I tested out was 129. Now that I've lost my tan, I'm in shade 118. That's how much I love this stuff. I bought two bottles. So yeah, this is just absolutely gorgeous on mature skin. Smoothing, blurring, hydrating. To me, it's they should call it not a skin tint. They should call it a skin perfector. I'm not kidding. It's just absolutely lovely on mature skin. But yes, those are my top five favorite skin tints for mature skin. Leave me a comment down below what your favorite skin tint is if it didn't make the list. And if there's a skin tint out there that you want me to test out, let me know. I'll be happy to test it out for us. You'll be helping out me as well as our community. But thanks again for hanging out with me today. I had so much fun. You guys, this was a labor of love. I love testing out makeup for our mature skin and see what what works for us and what doesn't work for us. But if you do enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing. I would love it if you'd be a part of our family. But for now, mwah. mahalo kita. I love you and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.